Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to take a quick look at the LensGo wireless microphone system. And on this particular video, we will have no music background with the exception of... And of course, we had to have a little bit of music so that we can just feel a little bit better. At least to me, it does, and hopefully to you as well. Now, really quickly, guys, there are a lot of interesting features, but there are two that caught my attention on this particular set. One of which is that besides having the capability of recording wirelessly, and we are using the camera right now, the audio is being transmitted from the lapel microphone to the wireless transmitter and then to the receiver and the receiver to the camera. The camera that I'm using is a DJI Pocket 2. I'm reviewing it, so expect in a few days a more detailed review, but you can see right now the quality and we will go outside so that we can come. Probably this is not the setup that we could use because DJI Pocket 2 has its own audio system, but it is a great example that this will work with everything. Now, the other thing that is very curious is that it records with a micro SD card, which is just awesome. So if by any reason the transmitter and the receiver breaks the audio, as we have seen on some other systems, and we will test them out, uh, we have a safety measure right over here, a backup where our audio file gets all recorded and at this moment is recording and what i can share with you is that uh, so far we have been hearing from the audio transmitted from this to the camera right now i will put the audio from the sd card and the only thing that i do notice is that it has a little bit more of bass and this is good or not so good depending on our personal taste i personally enjoy it although i don't need much more bass in my voice but this is the only thing that I notice. In terms of quality, I also noticed that there is a little bit less noise on the audio, but probably because of the preamps of the cameras that we use. And having that in mind in a few moments, I will also test on my Canon M50 so that you guys can check out the differences between the preamps of one and the other camera so that we can compare. Now, the other thing that I'm curious as well is that it states that 150 meters between the receiver and or the transmitter and the receiver and we are going to test that out in just a few moments now in terms of what comes in the package uh, it comes with everything necessary so that we can put it out of the box and uh, start recording including the cables to connect any dslr camera that has a trs 3.5 millimeter jack input also a ttrs uh, to connect to any mobile phone that we want it comes with a cold shoe adapter and also this lapel microphone that i'm using at this moment the transmitter is powered by two AA mat batteries and also the receiver and um, it lasts longer than what you usually use on smaller receivers that have smaller batteries and AAA batteries in this particular case if we want to charge we can charge using the usb type C port right over here of course we will have to use rechargeable batteries it also comes with a clip so that we can hang on our waist and it comes with a infrared transmitter right over here that we can see and it has an input for the microphone 3.5 and an input for a line music if we want for example now the receiver is also very similar it has two antennas it has an audio output to connect to any camera which is what we are doing right now it has an output for headphones so that we can monitor the audio if we want a clip for the belt and also the accessory to put in on any flash mount on our DSLR for example and it also has the infrared now in terms of the menus really quickly I'll show you a few images but very simple to use uh, they are very user friendly and I would say that anyone uh, looking for something to begin with and to use it right out of the box without the need to mess around with a lot of menus, this is just great. Now, that being said, we will need to go outside and test out uh, this. But before, let's just check something right over here. The difference in audio. At this moment, what I'm doing is I'm recording exactly with the DJI Pocket 2. So, and the audio is not bad at all. Not at all, because I'm really close to it. My arm is touching the DJI. But if I go a little bit uh, further away, then this is the situation where we want something like 
this and in this moment the only thing that I can share is uh, I can put the audio that I'm getting from the SD card the micro SD card and the audio from the camera and of course if I go further away then the audio gets worse. This is one of the situations that we probably want to do. So we are with more than 150 meters uh, we are with, well, there was a black car right over there, but I know where it was. And we have more than 150 meters right over here. So the question will be, where will it cut? And have in mind that on that way, I will be blocking the signal with my own body. Then when I return, uh, it will be like this and probably it will get. And while I'm talking, I can start because there is 150 meters to walk. So let's go. And... Um, there will be 60 meters, so the car was. 60 meters, 60 meters right on this, 60 meters right on this spot over here. And right now we are with roughly, I would say, 80 meters, more or less. So this is a huge distance. 80 meters is just, wow, well, not really sure what, why I would what I would do with uh, this kind of footage, but it is a lot. And we are reaching more or less 100 meters right over here. If the audio cuts out by some reason, I will point something right on screen stating that I will be using the micro SD backup, which is recording at the same time. And that is just awesome. So let's find out where it will cut. And right over here, we are reaching the mark of 130 meters so 130 yes. meters where the black car black car sorry black car was uh, parked and right over here we are reaching the 150 meters so right about now the audio should be cutting off and we shouldn't be hearing anything although i've got the audio from my phone and i also got the audio from the uh, micro SD card right over here and we have surpassed the 150 mark right over here so if it hasn't stopped 150 meters is wow, the camera is somewhere right over here so really really distance let's see let's go now at this moment I'm facing forward with the microphone facing forwards to the camera and of signal or not if I still have to use the micro SD card as a backup, backup solution, which is just an awesome solution right over here. Because if by some reason we lose the audio, the micro SD will save us. 50 meters once again, here we are, reaching out the camera, <laughs> which we can see right now, right over here. And we are almost there and right now you can see me probably a little bit better i'm using a wide angle camera dji pocket 2 as you guys know we started the video on the office so and right about now we are getting closer and closer so i can just stop this probably shoot the camera itself right over here and we are back so the result i'm not really sure of what we will get but hopefully we had the 150 meters covered. Let's check that out back in the office. And here we are on a different setup now with the Canon M50. And I'm recording not only on the camera itself to check out the differences between the preamps so that we can see if there's any difference between this camera and the other one, but also on the micro SD card, which hopefully we can see some differences right over here. Now I will use this sample for both things, comparison and a different camera, and also to do the conclusion. And as a conclusion, what we could see after all those tests that you guys have watched is that 150 meters I could not reach. I was able to get comfortably up to 60, 70, but after that we start to have cuts and whatnot. So the safety right over here on the micro SD is just great. Honestly, 60 meters is a lot, so I wouldn't see myself doing anything that I would need more than that. Actually, that's more than what usually we need. We'll have other objects and so on and so forth. So I would say that comfortably up to 60 meters we will get by. After that, we can use the micro SD, which is just 
awesome. Now, having that in mind, there's also one thing that I really enjoyed, which is the autonomy in terms of battery. Now, I've started the test two days ago and been playing around with it and all the morning doing some shootings outside with my kid and so on and so forth. A lot of tests and the battery still the same. So by my calculations, we can use a lot. I can't give you a number yet, but I would say comfortably working, I would say, I don't know, two to three days if the battery, there are three indications, there are three, there are three dashes and it's still remaining full, which is awesome. So in conclusion, if you are looking for something really easy to use out of the box with all the necessary accessories, with a really nice range and with the backup fail safe, which is the micro SD cards on the transmitter, then this is an option to have in mind. And that being said, hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.